I woke up this morning to the news that Coke has acquired Pepsi. Or was it Ford had acquired Chevy? No, no, it's something like that. But, oh yeah, Atari acquired Intellivision. <laughs> hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you were a video playing kid in the 70s and 80s, then you know why this is a big deal. Endless debates were held on the playground about whether the Atari VCS or the Intellivision was the best gaming system. Now, that debate kind of dried up when ColecoVision showed up to eat all of our lunches, but still, a big deal. As of today, you can go buy an Intellivision logo t-shirt on Atari.com. <laughs> the press release begins, Atari announced today it has purchased the Intellivision brand and certain games from Intellivision Entertainment, LLC. Now, the very first thing most people are wondering is answered in the very next sentence, and that is, what about the beleaguered Amico? Does Atari own that now? Mm-mm, nope. <laughs> Intellivision Entertainment LLC will rebrand and continue its business of developing and distributing the Amico brand game console with a license from Atari to continue to distribute new versions of the Intellivision games on the Amico console. So. The Amico can still get those recharged-ish in television games, but the console is still all theirs. Now, I'll admit, I haven't been following the Amico super closely, but enough to know it's been an albatross that just can't seem to get off the ground, and I think Atari knew that and didn't want any part of it. <laughs> now, as with previous acquisitions, there's boilerplate info in there about planning to expand digital and physical distribution of those legacy games, as well as develop new games based on them. I, for one, am a bit weary of hearing that song, though, with no real results to show for it. Atari nabbed a dozen titles from Stern last year, and so far have only done anything with Berserk. Uh, they scored those M Network rights, also originally Mattel, by the way, and we've yet to see anything come of that. Atari's been on a real shopping spree lately, but it seems most of the packages they ordered are still sitting out on the front porch unopened and unplayed with. And what's in these packages, you might ask? Well. Being an Atari kid, I only knew Intellivision games secondhand, and we know they don't own the rights to games from other developers or games based on other companies' titles, so none of the arcade ports are likely included because additional rights holders would be involved. So as I read the release, I was thinking, well, how many games could there even be? I mean, you had a football game and a baseball game and Microsurgeon, and well, I was stunned when I read this. The purchase includes the rights to more than 200 titles for the Intellivision portfolio and the Intellivision trademarks. Holy crap, that's a lot of games. That just tells me I've got a lot of research to do to learn more about Intellivision. <laughs> well, the Atari CEO, Wade Rosen said, this was a very rare opportunity to unite former competitors and bring together fans of Atari, Intellivision, and the golden age of gaming. Yeah, <laughs> you think? I'd like to see Rosen do one of those I just got back from the thrift store pickup videos where he pulls in television game after in television game out of a box and says, we only wanted a dollar for it, so I picked it up. <laughs> what happens from here, though? That's anybody's guess. As I noted before, Atari doesn't have a great track record of fully putting these new acquisitions to work. If it were up to me, taking notes, Wade? I'm sure you are. <laughs> there would be a kickoff meeting this afternoon with Mike Micah from Digital Eclipse, which you might recall Atari also now owns, for the comprehensive and television history package in the model of that Atari 50th anniversary celebration. Look, you've got 200 in television games, the brand, and a chunk of the M network ports for the VCS. That sounds like a great story waiting to get that Digital Eclipse treatment. We'll just all have to keep an eye on what happens next. And if something notable develops, well, I'll be back to keep you updated. What would you like to see Atari do with this new chunk of Intellivision material? Are there any Intellivision favorites you'd like to see get that Atari recharge treatment? Please let me know down in the comments. And in the meantime, I will toss links to more Atari news I've covered recently here and here. I certainly hope you found something to enjoy in this quick video, and I cannot wait to talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.